Salvation is a double-edged sword. A long time ago in West Texas, an old man named Emmett Quinlan was dying from Alzheimer's. His son Ray was stuck between being a father to his own daughter and watching his father fade away into a hateful old monster. And to make matters worse, a giant tornado was on its way to destroy everything the Quinlan family held dear. It was in the wake of this storm, however, that everything would change, for the tornado did not come from this world, and it brought something along with it. Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting episode, another edition of A Week in Geekdom here on YouTube. This time we're reviewing an image book, and of course I am talking God Country. This was a special request. Thank you guys for recommending this book. It is astounding. This is really spectacular. I had no idea what any of this was. God Country, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, is about this family that's, that's dealing with this horrible tragedy that hundreds and hundreds of people have suffered throughout the years and continue to suffer from this very moment. Alzheimer's is a very serious and depressing and horrible disease and this book deals with it in a very unique way. It this I love the fact that this book is described as an epic Texan battle fantasy. I, I, I don't know what that means or if that's a genre onto itself but it's pretty awesome. As you can see I picked up the uh, DCBS variant cover for the trade, it's just the one trade, six glorious epic issues of this small town in western Texas and this family dealing with this tragedy. The main protagonist of the story is the character of Emmett Quinlan, this older gentleman that is suffering from Alzheimer's and when you're starting the story, when you're starting this tale, it's told like an urban legend if you will from a unseen narrator. And when the story picks up, you have this character that is suffering from this disease and has gone through many episodes of violence, of tragedy, and it's his son who takes care of him with his family. And the family, uh, basically they've had enough. Uh, you know, it's gotten to the point, it's so bad, it's gotten to the point you either continue down this sad, depressing route where the character is not getting any medical assistance or any medical care on a hospice or uh, splitting up this marriage with this uh, little girl stuck in between the wife and husband. Which, by the way, this story is basically uh, like, um, I would say, a Greek myth meets the Wizard of Oz. Basically this tornado comes up and just ruins everything and destroys houses and all that stuff and Emmett is caught in between the storm which targets the house and out of this storm Emmett acquires this 12 foot talking uh, sword called Valofax and it is the most beautiful thing when Emmett grabs the sword his sickness his illness it disappears he remembers everything he remembers his past life he remembers his wife his son all the cherished memories and all that stuff it all comes back and he relives everything once again and he knows who he is and that is that is sort of wish fulfillment I guess because uh, a lot of people would want that to be a thing we would want uh, for family members who are suffering from such things to be able to remember all that stuff and it's a very beautiful way to express it by the act of this um, Deus ex, ex Machina, if you will, this item, this mystical, mythical item, I should say. When you grab it, all your problems go away. However, there are consequences when dealing with magical stuff, and such is the story of God Country. Very soon, he gets a visit from a Roman-looking god. He's from another dimension, universe thing, and he is demanding the sword, so it's up to this family to figure out what the hell's going on. Of course, the character of Emmett knows very well because the sword turns out to be a sort of divinity of its own and explains things to him as to his mission and why he was chosen and all that stuff. This sword basically has a will of its own. So 
that's sort of the gist of the story. I won't go further into it because I might spoil it because it is a short read. It's only six issues. I promise you, you'll read this pretty quickly. The action is fluid, dynamic, it's beautiful. The characters are really well written. It's smart, realistic dialogue. And that's not something I typically say on these videos for comic books because the story demands a certain type of dialogue. Um, whether it be a, a Hellboy book or a Marvel or DC, it, it has a certain flair to the script. This, however, being an independent title, it's free to do its own thing, but the dialogue is very realistic. Even though you're dealing with fantastical elements, really cool trippy visuals by Jeff Shaw, which I'll get to in a second, it's very real. The way these characters talk to each other and the, the emotion that is being expressed I thought was genuine, it was sincere, and that's the theme of this book. Getting second chances, not wasting them, and if you had that second chance, what would you do with it? And just going to town with it, man. Just owning up and uh, living life and doing everything you wanted. Although it is expressed a, a bit more fantastical, it's still that thematic element of living life and I think God Country for that reason and for many more is a title that everybody should check out. It's fun, it's a very quick read, it's a very solid story with a great ending and a great message and I gotta say it definitely pulls at your heartstrings because there are a couple panels here and there in this book where it's just fabulous. Jeff captures the raw emotion of this horrible sickness and this these character interactions that yes even though they've seen each other for many years it's like starting over once Emmett gets that sword it's like it's like that veil is lifted from you that shrouded mist and you finally see that sunny beautiful sky and it's just really pretty. It's just a beautiful story that I highly recommend. Plus, the action in it is insane. If there was any faults in this book, I would say that six issues, while the story is self-contained and you get it, and I understand why it ended in six issues, I wish it would have been maybe eight, nine, or ten issues just to get a little bit more time with these characters because by the end of it, everything goes really fast. I want it just a tiny bit more. This is not a story where you require multiple copies, multiple issues to explain things. Just six issues, I get it, and you uh, do a satisfying uh, story. However, like I mentioned, you know, just a tiny little bit extra. Each issue is lengthy, and there's some meat in there that I think you're gonna enjoy. So for me, it's a hell yes. I really recommend it. It's fantastic. Great art, great writing. Donny Cates is already cementing himself as one of the greats. Spectacular overall. God Country is really special, and I hope you get to pick it up and read it and let me know how much you loved it. Guys, as always, thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing here at A Week in Geekdom. It's truly an honor that I get to do videos about books that I love and stuff that I read and watch and all that stuff f to entertain you guys and every like every comment it truly really means the world to me if you're new here thank you and welcome aboard follow me on your favorite social media platform and as always I will catch all of you on our next adventure next video something bye If you had to do an epic Texan, epic Texan was it? And if you had to do, see it says it right there.